Fine. Now that you've placed the first stone of your building, I'm talking about your trunk, Survivor. We'll move on to the next step in the program. Can anybody in the class tell me how we're going to build our new community? Anybody? I just told you. Right, watch the board and I'll explain for the eighth time. So listen up. Slushe Chief Nimachana. Creating a new community means creating the best possible camp. To do that, you and your group of survivors will have to kill hordes of zombies and complete lots of missions. That way, you'll gain experience and will be able to increase the level of your camp. The higher the level of your camp, the more your group will be able to build new structures and upgrade existing ones. Camp construction is everybody's business. But mind you don't neglect your level and equipment. The surroundings will become more and more hostile, and you'll have to be tougher and tougher, and better and better equipped to survive. So, is everything clear this time? Look at the board, I'll explain it a ninth time. Listen up. Slushe Chef Nimachelna. At ease, soldiers. I'm sure the most experienced survivors can remember that I created a survival guide. It's brimming with tips on how to survive among zombies. Remember? The less you eat, the less stamina you have. So you won't have the strength to fight the zombies. So remember to eat. Thirst causes dizziness and headaches. It becomes hard to concentrate and make critical hits. Remember to drink. In my time, we knew how to fight barehanded, and we were ready to drink urine to survive. Today's young people are always walking around with a bunch of useless items in their backpacks. So here is a third tip. If you're overloaded, you run slower and slower, and can't get over obstacles. So check your backpack. I'm down here, if you'd care to join me. 